Hello, so my online student community is moving. I'm excited about it. I think it's going to be an easier, more integrated experience for everyone. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So I just have a little checklist here to make sure that I don't skip anything. So the quick overview is that if you are a student of mine, meaning that you've taken one of my workshops or seminars or courses, or even if you use any of my products or you've read one of my books or something like that, this is the new place over here at school.sounddesignlive.com slash discuss where we will be doing everything in support of those products. So if you've taken one of my workshops and you're watching one of the videos and you have a question, this is where you'll go. If you're having technical problems with any of the course materials or doing the homework or anything like that, this is where you'll go. And if you just want to share something that you're working on or celebrate, you know, some big success that you have or some really amazing show that you worked on, then you can put that here as well. So that's the quick overview. If you haven't been here yet, I'll put the URL below this video and you can just head over and sign up for free and start making posts. Okay, so what is it? So I've talked about this a little bit already, but I've been hosting all of my courses and books and things over at this URL, school.sounddesignlive.com for a while now, but my student community has been somewhere else. In fact, it's been several other places over the years, but I have finally decided to put it all in the same place to just make the entire experience easier for everyone so there's not different places you have to go to. So if you're working through one of my courses, for example, and you have a question or you want to make a post about it, it's in the exact same place as the course. Just makes sense. It just took me a while to get here because this tool that I use to host the courses, this community feature wasn't as good in the past. And so I just had it turned off and we went somewhere else. They recently made some improvements. I love how they're improving this product. This product is called Heights, by the way. Nice and simple, but the community feature now is just a little bit better improved, easier to use. And so that's why I feel like it's a good time to move over here. Okay, so where is it? I talked about the URL, that'll be below here. And I recommend that you just bookmark this. So it's not an app or anything, just accessible from any web browser. Just bookmark this specific URL so you can open it up anytime you want to make a quick post or a question. Okay, who is it? It's everybody that has taken part in one of my workshops or I also host two other teachers. I should have mentioned that. I'm sorry, guys. When we take a look at just all of the courses that are here, it includes two other teachers. One of them, Stephen Pavlik. He has a course called Real World RF Troubleshooting that's really great. And um, Alice Stefancic has one called Gorilla Mixing on Digital Consoles that's really great. And he may be doing, hopefully we'll be doing some more things in the future, maybe related to IEMs. We'll see. But this is also where all of my books are hosted and a few other products. Anyway, so me, Stephen Pavlik, Alice Stefancic have some courses here. And so if you've taken part of any of these or really any of my trainings that I've ever done, this is who you will find here. So when you go to this community, those are the kinds of people that are posting. And the last time I checked, there were about 1,700 people that have signed up for this site to take part in one of these courses or something like that. Okay, that is the who part. When? So this is available now. You can go there and start using it immediately. I will start phasing out the older community, the previous community that we had at Mighty Networks. And I expect to have it completely, maybe not closed, but completely migrated by the end of February. So I'll give a full month for everybody to move over and start testing out the new community. And the good news is that the old community will always be there. And that's great because the last time, I just checked the stats earlier today, and there's over 3,000 posts at the old community. It was really great, really high quality. I love the posts that people were making, really high quality comments, and 
really enjoyable. And so that will all still be there for everyone to access into the future. And so some features will go away. You won't be able to do live streams or make some specific posts anymore. Some, like some details will go away, but the content should still be there permanently into the future in case you want to find anything you ever posted there. Or if you wanted to repost some stuff that you really like from the old community to the new community, I think that's a good idea. Now, I did look into it and there wasn't a very easy way for me to just migrate all of our posts, all of our content from our old community to the new one, or else I would have done that. But I think it'll be nice to start fresh and really create the kind of community that we want to support each other. So that's the when. What about the why? Why am I moving? I talked a little bit about that. My two biggest reasons are number one, because everything will all be in the same place. And number two, because now this feature is better, basically, in this platform. I think the technology has improved for this product, and I think it's good enough now for us to use it. And another thing is I just like having more control over the things. What I mean is that our old community was hosted at this place called Mighty Networks, and if for some reason Mighty Networks ever went out of business or just disappeared one day. Everything is on their servers. And that probably won't happen. It's the same as a reason maybe not to host our community on anywhere else like Facebook or something like that. Those are great tools, but having it here on a site with a host that I own means that all this stuff should be here permanently into the future. I just have a little bit more control over where it is. So those are some of the whys, and I'll show you around a little bit. There's not much here. I just started this up, and I'll tell you two things that I've learned, though, about doing this in a few other places. I'm not making a bunch of channels. I really just like having one main channel, and we'll just start with that, and we'll just see how active this gets. There's really no need to break it apart into a million different channels about RF and wireless microphones and sound system design and subwoofers and all this stuff until we have a lot of people posting. Once we start getting like 30, 40, 50 posts a day, and maybe they need to be separated out. But I really don't like those communities. I'm in a lot of other communities where there's a million different channels and you have to check each one to see what's going on. So for now, we're just starting with a single channel here. So when you show up, you want to check out the start here, all of these posts. These have our member guidelines, important things to take a look at, how to ask a good question, and some more information about just why I'm doing this and why I feel like it's important for us to build a safe space to support each other, basically, ask questions. A little bit more about the why, now that I think about it. I have an another thing here we go so some of the reasons why i do this and you know why i like having a community uh, i have about six reasons here so number one is networking our industry is based on personal referral and so anywhere where we can be meeting more people and building relationships is a good thing number two is making better decisions so when you see people working through problems and you see their problem-solving methodologies, it makes you a better problem solver. Number three, find inspirations. Maybe you're just looking for some motivation or for some new ideas. Communities are really great for that. Sharing stories. I love it when people just come in to talk about gigs that they just worked on. Here's what happened. <clears throat> Here's some things that went wrong. Here's some things that worked out really great. Here's some questions that came up for me. So stories are one of my favorite things. Probably one of the biggest reasons though that people come is the pain of not being able to find an answer to a question. A lot of these things are things that you can't Google, right? We have a small industry that is not, has every question ever asked about, let's say that you were studying a new language, you're gonna learn Portuguese, or you're going to learn a programming language, a popular programming language like Python or JavaScript or something like that. Any question that you have about those things, you're going to be able to find online. Almost 
everything has been tackled because there's so many people that are studying those things and working on those things. Meanwhile, sound engineering and sound engineers, pretty small group compared to those other groups. Sometimes not all these questions are out there answered, are answered already. And so that's one of the most common reasons that people come to a community like this. And, number, and the last one here is just to have an impact, help out other people. It's really great to see people supporting each other and trying to help each other solve problems. And it's not just technical things. People come to talk about how to find gigs, how to deal with difficult clients or challenging relationships or things like that. Okay, so some more depth in there about why I'm doing this. Okay, so I think you, I think, I don't know how much of a demo I should do. I think you guys know how communities and online forums work. You come here, you go to the main channel and you can start writing a new post and it's super simple. There's just a title and there's content, right? And a lot of the stuff can be automatically embedded. So you could be sharing a YouTube video that you really liked. Hey guys, check out this video. Here's some things that I learned. Here's some questions that it raised for me and it'll go straight in there. And then if you're looking at other people's posts, you can show more to read the rest of the post. And then for you, there will be a button here to make a comment. Now, there are not a lot of fancy features here, like on some places, maybe like a Facebook, you can't like start live streaming or something like that. But as those things come up, we'll tackle them together. So if you're wondering like, hey, how do I post a poll and how do I ask a question or how do I share a video that I made about me, make posts about that and we'll figure it out together. And as the thing grows and we answer questions and figure this stuff out and build it together, I'll keep updating these documents here so that we have a nice list of best practices and member guidelines and things like that. Okay, so that's the story on the new student community. I hope that you will come over and check it out, make a post, make some comments, and I hope everybody has a great and supportive 2023. Thanks.